Hey guys, welcome back to Nifty Ink, and today we're going to be drawing mushrooms! So I wanted to start off with the supplies I'm using today. I'm going to be using a mechanical pencil, Bic uh, Lead 0 0.05, and a normal eraser. Um, and also a really cool click eraser from Pentel. It's nice for using in little small areas, you just click it up, click it down. Um, so that's pretty nifty. Um, also using my Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, I think they're the Premier. Yeah, Prismacolor Premier. Um, I got them in a tin of maybe 50. They're really nice and soft, so we're going to be using those today. And also um, some Statler, Statler, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Statler um, fine liners, they're called tripless fine liners. And I'm using them in just some muted colors because we're drawing mushrooms, so they're kind of just some earthy tones. There's the nib. Um, and then lastly, the last thing I'm going to be using is a jelly roll pen. Um, the nib is size 8. I don't actually like this jelly roll very much, but it's the only one I have, so I'm going to be using it today. Um, I don't think, maybe it's Uniball, but not sure. I just picked it up a really long time ago, I don't remember. So uh, I want to give everyone a really huge thank you for hanging out and watching today. I was really excited to see that people kind of liked the last speed paint I did. And I was really encouraged by that. So you guys rock. Woohoo! I even got a few suggestions and questions from some people, which is so cool. Um, and a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, one person. <laughs> one person asked if I just paint straight in shapes or if I had sketched something beforehand. And I have to tell you that I never just lay down something without sketching it out. I wish I was that confident, but I'm really not. So I decided to show the sketching process and sometimes I will sketch something and it'll be really messy and I'll use a light box to get really clean lines, which is what I did last time when I painted the Bumble Bunny painting. But this time I decided since mushrooms are pretty easy and it's something I draw a lot of, that I could just go in really lightly with my normal mechanical pencil, which is what I'm doing here, and um, just keep it light enough so that when I go in with color, you don't see too much of the graphite and it doesn't smudge. So when I sit down to make a more finished piece like this one, um, I try to look through my sketchbook for, th for some inspiration. A lot of times I sit down and I'm like, I'm gonna make some art. And I forget all of the ideas that I had when I was doodling in my free time. And I'm like, I freeze up when I try to get serious art done. Serious being like in quotations, serious. But a flip through some past sketches of my sketchbook can really help shake that fog or that kind of frozen feeling. And so that's what I did here. I had some little mushroom houses sketched out in some thumbnails in my sketchbook. So that's what I'm kind of referencing as I sketch this. It ended up being pretty different from what I originally had, but it was a good start. Um, I kind of, I think I might have sketched out these thumbnails like at least a month ago. So I don't actually remember what I was thinking when I started it, but it was good to see it in my sketchbook and kind of be reminded that, oh yeah, I love these little guys. I like the feeling of like these tiny mini homes nestled in a small mushroom village. So I kept the artwork pretty small. Um, I don't remember the exact size, I, maybe five by seven. Smaller than, so that's a normal printer piece of paper underneath, um, the eight and a half by 11. So it's smaller than a regular letter size. Um, and it, this is on toned paper. I recently bought some toned mixed media paper from Stratmore and I used it when I did um, Junicorn in June when I drew some unicorns. And I really liked learning how to use the Prismacolor colored pencils on it. Um, you'll see later, they're kind of, you, you get the texture of the paper underneath, you don't get rid of the, the toned feeling and so it feels kind of earthy and rustic and I really like that for these mushrooms. It has a, a fungus-like theme to it. And um, so that's about the paper. So here I am, it's time to color the best part. Um, I really enjoy using colored pencils. Before I bought these Premier grade Prismacolored pencils, I was just using Crayola color, some like student level Faber-Castell maybe. Just, I had that tin that was full of pencils, 
was just completely filled with like random colored pencils that I collected over like 10 years and I hadn't ever gone through and like picked out the really good ones. So I would just use any colored pencils to color my work and that was pretty much what I used until very recently to color things. Um, I just bought these colored pencils maybe a year and a half ago. And even since then, I haven't been using them a lot. Um, just because of school work, I don't do a lot of color work. And when I do, it's usually in paint. So, but I really enjoy using these in my free time. They feel like home because <laughs> I used colored pencils to color everything from like middle school pretty much until I got to college and had to buy paint and learn how to mix colors and stuff. So I really am in my comfort zone with this and it's really relaxing and I enjoy using them. The Prismacolor ones are a lot softer than what I had been used to. They can layer and blend a little bit easier. Uh, the pigment comes off of the lead really soft. Um, not as hard and waxy as the Crayola colors. So you can really take your time. Colored pencils are great because they're really easy to start out with if you're a beginner artist. Uh, they're pretty cheap, um, but they can also be used by like super pro artists to make some really amazing things, like super photorealistic, just incredible, like really phenomenal pieces of artwork. I am nowhere near that level. <laughs> I still just kind of play around with them, but I think they're a great medium and I really enjoy them, so. That's what this is.
it's okay that I didn't put in the whole entire process for this video. It already turned out to be pretty long, about 12 minutes, which is a huge jump from my last video that I did, which was only three minutes. So I'm still kind of experimenting with the footage, finding out how fast I want it to be, how much I want to show. So let me know what you think in the comments, if you like it longer, if you like it shorter. Colored pencil as a medium takes just a really long time. This took several hours. Um, and this is sped up three times faster than usual, like I said. So I didn't know how fast to make it, how much to show. I hope that this is enough, but not too much. A nice sweet spot is hard to find. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more art videos. I'm planning on doing a few other things as well, maybe some tutorials or studio vlogs. So I'm really excited for this YouTube adventure and I hope that you join me along with it. Also, go ahead and hit the little bell button. Um, that will give you a notification on your phone or your email to let you know that when I put up a new video. So yeah, thanks so much.